This is the hat body made on the foam block shown in an earlier video. Uh, there's a time lapse showing how uh, the well the block and the hat uh, are made. And I thought I'd just show you how I trim and finish the hat. Uh, I'm pretty self-taught on all of that, so um, there may well be better ways of doing it, but it might help one or two of you um, actually complete your projects. So, the hat body is still sitting on the block. Um, I'm going to turn this into a fedora, so I will shape it once we've got it sorted out. So, <clears throat> um, for the hat band, we have Petersham ribbon. I've got some quite wide brown Petersham here. So one thing you'll notice, because of the taper of the hat block, when you put the ribbon around, you can't just take a piece of straight ribbon, you actually need to, to curve it. So we'll show you how we do that in a moment, and we swirl the, the ribbon so that it's got a curve in it to uh, sit flat against the hat. So that's a brown Petersham for the hat band. And then for the sweat band, um, I've got some black Petersham, I've got two sizes. I'm not sure, probably going to use the, the bigger one, but uh, either of those. And again, the same, this will go on the inside and we'll need swirling, so we'll do that, we'll do both of those. And then to finish the edge of the brim, we could either cut it and then re wet felt and rub the edge to get it to form a finished edge, or we can use some bias binding, um, which we will sew with a zigzag stitch around the outside. A nice neat way of finishing it, holds everything together. And before we do any of that, we need to decide on the size of the brim and uh, cut that. So something you've got to be very wary of when you're setting up your pile of fibre to start felting the hat. And this started up two foot wide, 600 millimetres wide. But by the time you work it and roll it and shrink it and rub it and block it, it's always shrinking. As you block it under the hat, it's shrinking up. The brim's coming in, you shrink the brim in. Um, so it ends up a lot less than the 600 millimetres. And I probably just about got away with this. So in terms of cutting the brim, I think on a fedora it's quite usual to have a narrower side and then be uh, wider at the front. Um, I'm just going to cut it so that it is... Uh, parallel to the crown all the way around and what I've really got to do is this is my narrowest point so I'm going to take that dimension and just cut the brim to that size all the way around and so the way that I've marked that um, you can get these beautiful gauges that cut it all in one go but um, to mark it what I've done is just made a cardboard template that matches this dimension here and then use my chalk or whatever you've got that will mark it and follow that round to give you the line um, which we'll cut it to. So once that's cut, um, we're ready to move on with the rest. So for the lining, um, I've got this Cupro fabric which is uh, a natural uh, material and is breathable, so very good for hat lining. And again, to cut your lining, um, you can't just have a parallel piece of material because, again, it needs to curve. And so I've just made a pattern, and you can see the curve there. And the way I've done this, I've taken a straight piece, so this, this edge is still straight. The beauty of it being on the foam block is you can pin it straight into the block. So if you put the paper there with the straight edge, you'll see what happens is that's actually the base of the block there. So you can just take this, probably put some slits in here and then follow this pencil round. Uh, and that will give you the curved shape, which is how we've arrived at the shape here. And then for the top, to get the line. <coughs> Is the same method as you line a cake tin with. So with the curve it's now sitting flat on the bottom here and then all I've done is taken a pencil, laid it on the top, rotated it just, oops, just, to, mark the, um, just to mark this line around the inside here and you'll see again by doing that 
and you get this curved line here. So we'll cut to that line and that will give us the shape for the lining on the inside. Again, a piece of paper, we'll cut a template for the top piece. And that will pin together and do a test fitting and we can adjust that as we go. But the main point is that you can't just have a straight parallel piece of fabric, you need to create the curved template. So, Petersham, hat band, sweat band for the inside, trim the brim, bias binding, or wet felt the edge, but I think we're gonna go for the bias binding. Lining for the inside, that should do. So, next step, swirl the Petersham ribbons. So as mentioned, if you have a piece of straight ribbon, it won't sit flat on the hat because of the shape of the crown. It's touching the bottom here, but there's a gap here. So to get it to sit flat against the hat, you have to put a curved shape in it. So to put the swirl in it, what you just do is iron the ribbon and then as you iron it, you pull some curve into it. So we've got a curve in that. So See how that sits now. So the ribbon can now sit flat on the bottom and it will sit touching here because of the curve. So this is the bias binding which I'm folding and putting a crease down the middle. We'll start with a square end. So it's probably time to decide which is the front and which is the back of this hat. And I am going to say that this is the back. And I'm going to pick what I think is about the centre. It's a bit of overlap. Zigzag or not the zigzag or zigzag.
So we've swirled the sweatband so it sits nicely in the hat and I haven't found a way to machine sew that works satisfactorily so I'll hand sew the band in and uh, I've tried to position it so it's just below the turn of the brim here. The band has been sewn to fit my head and it fits inside the hat which is made on the block which was also made to fit my head. So without the sweatband in the uh, felt will just stretch and won't, stay, won't be stable so this will make everything stable. So I'm going to hand stitch this in um, and then add the, so we can just sew through the felt here because then we're going to put the hat band here and this will just have probably four or five stitches around it just to hold it in place and that will also of course stop the keep the the size exact <laughs> 